Hi, I'd like to share with you the latest incarnation of my battery-powered Raspberry Pi Sense Hat project. Uh, the previous one I did uh, showed you the weather uh, from the BBC News web website. This one also shows you the news headlines as well, and it's a bit difficult to show because it kind of dazzles a bit. Uh, what I've done is taken an RSS feed uh, of the headlines from the BBC News website. They are in fact colour coded, so it scrolls through different colours of the rainbow. So red is the first headline, most important, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, something like that. So you can get a sense just from looking at the colour of the headline how important it is. I've also numbered them as well, so if you're not sure about that, it tells you where it is in the running order. Um, so it's got headlines scrolling across and it will do the weather as well in a minute. I've left the weather in there too. Uh, it's very simple code. It's on the website. Just a few lines of Python. I've spent a few days now with the Sense Hat. Uh, very impressed with it. A couple of minor niggles. One is I wish the display was the other way up because on the Raspberry Pi, current version of the Raspberry Pi, the power goes in down here, which means it's quite difficult to prop it up on a bookshelf or something and have the news and weather scrolling along. So I kind of wish the display was the other way around and I could turn it up that way. Um, but that's a minor niggle. Um, I've had a few problems getting the joystick to work as well. Can't seem to get that work very easily at the moment. Uh, it's easiest to use using Pi Game. And if you're using a headless environment, oh look, there's a headline about Tim Peak. That's very appropriate because Tim Peak has one of these on board the International Space Station as part of the Astro Pi project. So it's very appropriate. We've got a headline about Tim Peak scrolling across the screen right now. Um, yeah, joystick is a little bit hard to use. Uh, if you want to get at it without using a graphical environment, you have to install some of the libraries. And I haven't been able to get them to work at the moment. So I kind of wish there was an easier way of polling the joystick from a simple Python script. But I'm working on that. I'm sure it can be fixed. So it's very very nice little gadget. I can see myself using this in school as a prototype weather station. So we can gather some environmental data and then decide what we're going to do with it, uh, whether we put it on some sort of Google spreadsheet or find another use for it and how we can uh, do some data handling with some environmental data that we can collect. So here we go. News headlines and weather scrolling along a battery powered. It's all self-contained. I'm holding the USB battery stick in that hand. It's all self-contained. Uh, so you could go and stick it somewhere to do some uh, environmental data collection, somewhere where you don't have mains electricity. I'm not quite sure how long it will it will last. I guess if you're not using the display, it's going to last a bit longer, but might be long enough to gather some environmental data.